share your thoughts on the tangible and intangible aspects of the branded plan? So, uh, ultimately, everything is about the intangibles. Intangibles is what, it's what's happening in the mind of the consumer. And uh, the mind of the consumer reflects through perceptions. So I get experiences through tactile experiences. I get somebody telling me about it, which is called vicarious experiences. And I get imagined experiences. I recently talked to somebody and they talked about Lamborghini as a, as a brand. They said, is it transactional? Will I transact? Will I buy? But you have an imagination of Lamborghini or Ferrari. And those are the kind of brands that, that work on the imagined state. There are others which work on the transaction state. Uh, somebody was mentioning Patanjali. Yes. And the very, very fact that Patanjali is a, a very, very transactional, consumable, which you consume, you want to consume more. That's the kind of stuff that's happening. So I think that, that what ultimately all this yields right. is something in the mind. Absolutely. So the perception and what comes out is the perception. So that's why the tangible is far more important than the intangible. And essentially what happens is all the intangibles happen, that means size, growth of people, number of, number of people buying you, happens because of the intangibles happening first. Patanjali is leading as you mentioned. So what's working well for them? Well, this is despite a very big issue of them not being a brand that needs to be or is wanted to be consumed by many. Right. There is a section of the population which are Patanjali consumers which follow it merely because of Baba. You know, those who are followers, the entire family will buy that. That's one section. Sure. That's the loyalist of the, of the Baba. But there is another who is going to consume the brand because of product experience. The first right. thing that talked about back then. Yes. I myself consumed the product through a small little toothpaste, you know, sliver. I got my toothbrush. Somebody gave it to me the common form okay. that we were staying over somebody. And I just liked it and therefore all my toothpaste have changed. I'm still not a brand believer. So now you are booked onto it. I'm booked onto the toothpaste but okay. I'm not a believer of Patanjali. Okay. Okay. So that particular Patanjali, now there is a second product in, sure. in my house which is something else which is to do with Chavan Prash or okay. something like that. And that builds slowly as we go by. And now my tactile experience are changing. The minute it now becomes my own imagined experience that this brand I am buying into you'll find this proliferate. So imagine, most people usually buy into a brand before they buy into a product. Right. Uh, the person who chooses a Ferrari versus a Lamborghini is actually choosing a brand because there's no speed right. difference, there may be nothing else that's different. But that choice when it's actually happening because the product before the brand, all the brand has to do is communicate the product, start slightly differently and it will change. Right. Because I think it has great yeah. potential. And what are the top uh, five brands on your mind? Which we can do it, uh, look out for. So, for you, must look for for sure. Sure. you must look out for Patanjali for sure. You must look out for Bhavantu for sure. You must look out for Fog, the Dio, the right. Ahmedabad based Dio okay. company for sure. You must definitely look out for uh, Dawa in that sense. It's a great healthcare brand, right. leading in that segment for the longest time. Definitely look out for that. And uh, definitely look out for car brands in that sense. They are moving up in that segment. Luxury? Luxury uh, and normal. Luxury, of course. The average change is 145 ranks that 10 brands have gone through. That means 10 brands put together, the jump over last year is 1450 ranks. If you add all the yes, ranks, yes. it's a huge, huge change. Four appeals, four foundations, 10 different behaviors, a human way to relate to brands, their behaviors. So it may have something like empathy, something like positivity. So these are all aspects of the way that we actually measure. We measure only intangibles. We don't measure size of a company, turnover of a company, no. We measure the intangibles of an organization or a brand and through that intangible we tell you where they stand. So we consider intangibles as the primary base on which all tangible factors happen. The reason that all of you work with the organization that you do is a reflection of that. The reason that we all stand here and, and you know have a conference like this is a reflection of that. What you buy is a reflection of that. So we measure the intangible which gets reflected in the tangible. What we buy, what we work with, who we work with, who we you know, uh, make friends with, the like that NGO. The list goes like this. Airtel is the most attractive mobile service provider in the country, followed by IDEA. And third is Vodafone. The difference between the first and second and third are 9th rank, 27th rank and 34th rank. So truly speaking, we might consider Vodafone to be number two in size currently after Geo is not considered. But in terms of attractiveness, idea makes a better play. Aircell, which is now being taken over and combined to the Alliance Com, still holds in people's minds as a brand and that is number four. And Tata Dogo at number five and we've got a list that follows. Reliance Geo is at an 8, 